welcome to another review of beers. I got a few beers from Bombers, and I'm going to have them. Just a quick reminder, I am playing at Bombers May 30th on Saturday for the Ballast Point Tap Takeover. If you like having beers and you like listening to my music, this is a... Both are happening. I'm going to review these beers the same way I did last time. I don't know much about beers, but I know what I like, and I can give you information about what I like compared to information about the beer. Hey, don't. Don't make this so hard. Just stop. Just like last time, I'm just doing these three beers, and I'll give you a quick little info about the beer. This is another beer from Terrapin. Last time I had Liquid Bliss. It's uh, Athens, Georgia. And this time I'm having Maggie's Peach Farmhouse Ale. Farmhouse Ales. They're Saisons. Saison? Whichever way you want to pronounce it. It's French for I don't know what it means. These are beers that I think are brewed in the winter and then drank in the summer. I'm foaming it up real good. It's not as carbonated as a lot of beers. So I feel like it's everything a Saison would be, but with a, a, the, a fruitiness. Summary, it's definitely uh, drinkable, refreshing, not bad, fruity-ish. 5.3 alcohol by volume. Not a lot of alcohol. For my next beer, I'm having the Ballast Point Grapefruit Sculpin. Ballast Point will be at Bombers this weekend. They are from San Diego. California. California is the state that doesn't have any water. This weekend, Bombers will be having a tap takeover, and Ballast Point will be there with a good selection of their, their beers, including this Grapefruit Sculpin, which you can get on tap, or you can get off the shelf at Bombers. This is obviously an IPA, but uh, it isn't horribly uh, bitter. It isn't uh, super duper hoppy. The grapefruit is obvious. It is also summery. I don't necessarily like IPAs. Some of them can be overdone and like, very, very bitter, but this one's not. Um, I think if you were doing trying to intro yourself to IPAs, this wouldn't be a bad place to start. I could drink this more often. 7% alcohol by volume. It's, it's very good. The uh, third beer, on our little review is Rivertown Brewing Company's Halakahiki. Halakahiki is a pineapple beer. And uh, Rivertown Brewing Company from Export PA. Uh, anyway, uh, it's classified as a pineapple beer. Um, that, that's about all I could find out about that. It, it, it seems like that's what the internet cares about. Ah, uh, uh, this is a little tiki man. No idea. I watched Leo and Stitch once though. Uh, Ohana. Ohana means family. You can't see this. Here. You can't see it. Let me pour it so you can see. It's very, very gold. Like, it looks a lot like it's just pineapple juice. It really just kind of tastes like uh, fizzy pineapple juice. What kind of alcohol by volume is this? 4.8, so none. It's tasty. I will give it that. It's very sweet. Would I drink it all the time? I'm not sure. Definitely summery. Definitely uh, super fruity. Just a lot of fruit taste. Like a lot of fruit taste. It doesn't taste very much like a beer at all. It rounds out our three fruit beers, which seems, I think that was an accident. So thanks again for tuning into the video. I got these three fruit beers, and don't forget that Ballast Point is going to be at Bombers. Saturday between 3 and 5 I'll be playing, and the taps will be open throughout most of that time. And if you don't make it by on Saturday, come by on Sunday, when they'll be making Bloody Marys with Ballast Point Bloody Mary mix and pickle okra, because it's good. Take care everybody, thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Pickles, so.